Yo, what's up? Ladies and gentlemen, little boys, little girls, everybody across the world. It's your boy Brian Michael Cox. I'm here representing Black Baby Inc. Here with the young Bertel. Um, How y'all doing? We uh, just did what I would like to call uh, the new wave of business. We just did a deal with uh, MRV uh, Capital Records. We did a joint venture. Me and, me and Bertel have a joint venture. And we went and did a joint venture with MRV Capital for the new record, the new album. New artists, y'all been seeing them grinding, y'all been seeing the whole process, you know, we've been doing this for a minute. And now we got a record that's popping off, She Bad, featuring Bum B. Um, and, uh, you know, the album is crazy, the name of the album is called Going Hard, so it's Black Baby Inc, Upscale Music Group, MRV, Capital, it's going down, big shouts out to my man LB, Jack, Piney, over there, Greg, Cal, it's going down. So, you know, I, we, we wanted to just kind of give y'all a taste of uh, where we from, we both from the southwest side of Houston, so you know it's like it's a, it's a family affair, you know what I'm saying? It's a family affair, and uh, you know I'm, I'm old head, he's young head, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, it's a family affair, we here doing it big, you know. So I'm excited about it. I think that uh, I think what he's bringing to the table is, uh, is is something that you guys gonna feel, you know what I'm saying? That's that's, that's the kind of music we make. We make that feel good music, so. You know, new album going hard, Bertel. New album going hard, new single, She Bad featuring Bum B. The second single gonna be crazy. You know, really tuning in to the YouTubes and to the to the Justin TV, the Ustream. Y'all yeah. know what we talking about. We just trying to draw in. We need everybody to get on this boat with us. You know what I'm saying? We're really trying to trying to usher in something new, trying to do something new with this new deal situation. Yeah. And we need the support of the fans and the people out there to understand and just take a take a second to put their ear to the music figure out what we're doing so we're gonna have these blog videos coming that way y'all can see that you know what I mean it's real like we really trying to bring back something that that you can feel something that you can grab hold to so you know I appreciate everybody who's been showing me love all the new people that's coming around you know it's it's gonna be a fun ride you know it's gonna be real lovely Music was huge. My grandmother sang in, 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 in the choir. Mm -hmm. My mother sang in the choir. My father was a choir director. My stepfather was a choir director. My biological father deceased when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So the, the man who raised me actually sang in the choir. So music was very big in my family. Uh, I didn't get real big on music and find out I could even sing until I was around 13, 14. I think I was in eighth grade. And I was playing around in the closet with my cousin who can sing. He was like, man, you can really sing. And that's really how my foundation started, my ground rooting of the music. Like, I always was like, dang, my whole family can sing, but I play sports. Yeah. So that was the real thing that made me feel like, man, wow, I done finally connected with the family, and now I can sing. And at the same time, I actually started playing the piano too. So, mm. you know, that was right. a good look. First artist I saw that made me want to do it, honestly, was, uh. Stevie Wonder. That was the first artist that I saw. I was like, wow. It was Stevie and Michael at the same time. Yeah. I was like, wow, I was young. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then Keith Sweat came and R. Kelly came. And I started trying to figure out who I was at that, like, as I got older with my music. But the first artist I saw that really made me want to do this, like when I was young, was Lil Wayne, actually. Really? Yeah, Lil Wayne came and did a show in Houston at the tunnel. Uh, Lil Wayne had to be like 16, 17. Uh, it was right after the Juvie uh, separation from Cash Money. Yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> nobody knew what he was going to do or what, what Cash Money was going to do. And he came and took the stage over as a youngin' in there. And I was like, it was amazing. Yeah. I was like, yo, this little this dude coming here, he the same age as us. Like, he just killed him. Took the stage over. Like, yeah. Because everybody was, you know what I'm saying? It was very juvenile driven. So when, when Lil Wayne, that's when I, like, I've been on the music. But yeah. at that point, I was like, oh, that dude is. Okay. He's, he 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 worked for that. You know what I'm saying? I want to do that. I want to be able to get on that stage and put my presence. Like yeah. Pre 